three of you, that's it. All right, so my name is Halo Marquis. Uh, I own this company called Mistech, which is what I was asking you guys about. We are a biotech company that specializes in resonance technology. All right, so a lot of times people hear some of these words and they translate into a whole lot of who knows what it even means. So essentially, your body is a big circuit board of electricity. All right, so if you guys think about this, if you're on an operating table, something goes wrong, they don't splash water on you, they don't get you a burger, they hit you with electricity. So we are much more electrical beings than a lot of us even consider, right? So with resonance technology is a way of using harmonics, vibration, frequencies. Is to your, your mic on? I don't know, is it? Is it? It's not on. Okay, I'll yell louder. Is that okay? Can you guys all hear me okay? It doesn't sound like your mic is on. Are you able to turn it on? I don't know. From here where I'm at, it sounds loud, but maybe you guys can't know. Don't tell anyone. Can you guys hear me now? No? No. Sometimes it's on here. How about now? Hello, hello, hello? Oh, yeah, there's no switch. No switch. I also do music on the side. I understand. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. No? No, still nothing? Mm -hmm. no. Okay. If I just yell really loud? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I'm making more fun. That's good. Okay. So resonance technology is basically a match. You guys have like your favorite song that you try to sing and you're trying to hit the notes and everything, that's a form of resonance to simplify it, okay? To make it more scientific, uh, are you guys familiar with like a tuning fork, Yeah. right? So if you have one tuning fork set to say 852 hertz and you ring it really loud and hold it next to another 852 hertz tuning fork, it'll start vibrating just because of resonance, that's where it wants to be at, okay? That's does that make sense to everyone, or should we go more into residence? Yeah. We have a, what's that, brother? Can you speak to their mind? How about now? Yeah. Hey, all right. <laughs> I don't know if I can go for it now. All right. Okay, so your body being. Whoa, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. So your body being this big electric board, right? Your circuits. If I stomped on your foot, I wouldn't do it. But this pain that you would feel would be an electric signal that goes to your brain and back very quickly to say, be careful in this area, right? Now, the fastest way to get from A to B is a straight line. Now, due to electromagnetic fields or EMFs, which we'll get into the blocking and the shielding and all these interesting technologies and go over the difference of what that does and what it is that we do, okay? So all the electromagnetic fields from electronics, so this TV, the phone she's using to record me, even the lights outside all send out signals of fields of energy that you cannot see but can be detected up to about 5,000 feet. Right, so if you have a little shield on your phone, that's great, but what about all the electronics? It's not doing a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? Right? Do so, clothes work? Say again? Clothes with silver, do they work? As long as your whole body is completely covered, but if your head's not and all these, like you need to be wrapped in kind of a blanket to really be blocked, blocked. And even after that, your body's already saturated with so many other EMFs that it's gonna take time for it to fuse out in the first place. So it, 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 it's not really that effective. So if you're 50% better off or not? Yeah, and better is better, but it's not. And, and this is why I like having these lectures because the potency and effect of what a lot of these other technologies claim to do and so on, it's good, better than nothing, but it's not doing all the things that it, it could be doing. A lot of things, right? Now I'm speaking of that also, when we'll get into that. A lot of other technologies that are out there, like you guys all remember walkie talkies, right? Yeah. yeah. So you could contact somebody from a really far distance, but it's not a cell phone, right? So even though the technology and idea is very similar, what their technology is doing and what the other technology is doing is not necessarily the same thing. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll get back to the EMF. So just sitting in this room, every electronic within about 5,000 feet is confusing your protons at a molecular level, and this is what all your electric system travels through in your entire body, right? So again, for pain in the body, if I stomped on your foot and it can't go in a straight line and it's doing this, Instead of the small space where you would have pain in your body, it feels like a much wider space. The pain is intensified, and it's not actually your real level of pain. It's just traveling through a distorted system because of electronics. That's it. Now, the body is made up of a ton of different you know, metals, minerals, so on. That's how the conductivity and all these things work. So with many people, you guys are all here for the superpowers that you can find out about in conscious life, right? And everyone wants to be able to do these different healing practices and energy things and all these things. And some people have been doing meditations for years and never had any type of breakthrough. Well, what if it was just because what you have in your body is not conductive to the field that you're trying to be introduced to? Most of our foods, most of our shampoos, most of everything we put into our body is full of plastic. 
it's full of non-conductive material. So when your whole body is now not a receiver, it's not a conductor, how can you expect to have these breakthroughs and things when your body is not even structured to be able to receive it? So it's not from lack of trying, it's because the world that we're set up in is designed to take these things away from us, unfortunately. And so we can't fix all of those things, but when it comes to the electromagnetic fields that distort the body, we can absolutely remove those. And not to, get to talk about any other company or anything, we're the only company in the world that has our technology that works the way that it does. We've tested every single thing that we can find. That's not to say that it might be a walkie-talkie instead of the cell phone that we're talking about, but it's not actually working in the way that our technology is. We're, we're the only ones that have that. Okay. So what I mean by that is, uh, has anyone here tried a magnetic bracelet or it's seen it? And magnets on. specifically. Yeah. Okay. Now try to decide this. I like this is fine. So originally when magnets came out and they're talking about all the benefits and all the things that it can do, the idea or the science behind it was that you have iron in your blood, right? So if you have a magnet on your wrist that your iron circulates through, the magnet will pull the iron faster and increase your circulation. That sounds wonderful, right? Scientifically though, when iron's in the blood, it's oxygenated and then it's not magnetic. So that's impossible for it to be doing that. That being said, there's thousands, tens of thousands of people that have had improvements and had effects from magnets. So it's not to say that the magnet is not affecting some other field of the body that we're unaware of, it's just not doing that. Does that make sense? I so thought, I thought it was supposed to be making a field around you that makes it harder for the EMS to come through. No. If someone, I don't know who said that, I mean, that's the first time I've heard that. Hmm? That's the first time I've ever heard that. But maybe. The lady who is a lawyer from New York downstairs last year okay. who was selling magnets said that. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'd love to see her studies for it, but I don't, I, don't, I don't know. So for EMS, though, uh, sure, some can be affected by magnetic fields to be somewhat distorted, maybe, but it's not going to block it or take it out of the body at all. Right? It's just not going to. So. Again, we're going to keep this really informal so we can get to questions and fun stuff like that, if that's okay. So, when I'm talking about like uh, the electricity in your body, right? Um, do we have vegans in here? Don't don't judge, it's okay. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, good, good, okay, gotcha, okay. So, when you're highly alkaline in your body, there's a lot of things that you can tap into and access that you can't without. Uh, not to point any fingers, put any blame on anything, but it's just, again, about conductivity, right? So I'm going to skip, I'm going to close this, I'm going to show you guys this to make more sense real quick. So key lime juice, okay, and, and I promise it all makes sense in the end. Okay, so Only key lime, not regular lime. Yes, very, very specific. Only key lime. Only key lime. So key lime has a lot of bioelectricity in it that will actually supercharge your body with electricity, right? So we'll see if I can get this to, to play and get some sound. Um, if not, I'll just give you guys a quick breakdown of what you're looking at. So this is a very old video. Like they should show this at schools. So this guy has this little tool, and you guys have seen these like light bulbs that you can plug into, say, a potato, and it will light it up, right? So with this, he just takes some key limes, squeezes the juice out, puts the diodes in, and you're going to see the light bulb get extremely bright. And it's just electricity coming from a key lime. Wow. Wow. That's it. So there's a lot more details it goes into, but again, I want to cover a lot of stuff, so I'm just going to kind of skip through a couple things so you guys can see it. So let's go here. We'll see key lime. It's very, very important, very, very specific that it needs to be this little key lime, right? The regular limes, the brother. Regular limes don't do that, okay? So check this out, and then we'll get into this other part. So he just has the nodes sitting in, and he talks about this being, I think, three key limes that he squeezed. And watch, he'll go in and just put a couple eyedroppers in. We're not even talking about saturating the entire thing. And you're going to start to see the bowl. Starts to get a little light. And the more he puts. Five. Right? Six. That's quite a bit, but yeah. Yep. So I guess when we run out of electricity, that's we, what we need. Right. Yeah, we run out of electricity. <laughs> right? So imagine you're awake up and you're feeling foggy, you're feeling pain, you're feeling disease. It's because your electric system's not working correctly. So things like key limes can affect that. Now, here's why I like to show this video because. Key limes are one of these like secret superfoods that they don't even talk about as a secret superfood. Right. right? They just don't talk about it. It's the weirdest thing. Right? You'll get it with a corona, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> sure. What sugar has to do 
Uh, uh, we're going to get that next week. Uh, I'm so glad you asked. Yep. And that, that's what I'm talking about. So for a key lime to be such a superfood, to be so high in bioelectricity, right? Um, even if you're being right, you guys like anyone live on key limes or have one every day? What about key lime pie? Key lime pie, maybe. Right. Okay. Now watch this. How many of you guys have food with sugar? What about organic kumquats? I don't, I don't know. I haven't tested that one. All I know is about the key lime. Sugar. Maybe. But so sugar. You guys all have sugar, right? Minerals do too. Huh? Minerals. Yeah, right. Minerals. Right. But the, but the, I'm telling you, the key lime, very, very, very specific. Very, yeah, and we, that's the other thing. We don't even need vitamins and carbs the way they talk about it. We need minerals. We need minerals so much. What if the fruit is a little old? Still. I mean, how old? If you eat it, it'll still have biophotons in it. Right? And we'll even get into fruits and vegetables because we have technology that can help fruits and vegetables decay at a slower rate because it keeps the biophotons inside them longer. And we'll, we'll get into that also. But so look, and this is why I asked about it. The key limes is probably very, very zero, maybe a key lime pie. Right? But sugar. We all have that, right? Even if we try to avoid it, it's in everything. You, you know, it's in everything. So he's about to take a spoonful of sugar, just a spoon. I don't want you guys to pay attention to the light. Okay, it's very important. So fructose is different than sugar? Yes. Yes. White sugar is the worst thing that you can put in your body. So that's a glycemic index of 100, right? Yep. Oh. Boom. <gasps> Eight tablespoons are in a soda bottle. Everybody likes it. Don't let the light go out. Boom. Go. Oh, that's three spoons. Now, that's not even with any type of electronic interference or anything. That's just chemical. Yeah, that's right? a good experiment. Kids I mean, I'm seeing it. You'll burn my eyes. Yeah. yeah. This lady that I knew, who she lived to 104. And when I would take her out for coffee or something, she'd put nine teaspoons of sugar. Yeah. Now imagine the human body being such an amazing, perfect conductor is what we're talking about, that you can actually program and train it to put garbage and toxins and still live very, very well. And 104. Absolutely. She just died. Why, this what happened year. to 200? <laughs> I, I, ne I never happened? knew it. <laughs> so, all these extended lives that we have, it sounds impressive because we're so used to just dying from poison that we're not acknowledging as poison. So like this is normal. It's, really it's just it's not. So just seeing this all, you know, if you guys are understanding the, the level of what the human body can do and what it's capable of, if you're groggy, if you're tired, you're sleepy, stop having sugar for like a week. And you have no idea your body, your skin, your hair will transform. Really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And your brain will be much, much faster. Your ability to concentrate and focus and talk. If you guys think I'm talking that fast now, you should see what happens if I don't put sugar in my body. I put it down to slow down to be able to talk. I'm not even joking. <laughs> and I sleep like an hour or two a day. That's what? Oh. Yeah, you don't actually need sleep. That's Do you electrocise you. yourself? No, I meditate very deeply twice a day for 20 to 30 minutes. You just need rest. You don't, most need, people, to... you don't need sleep. Really? No, you need rest. And most people rest on accident while they're sleeping, which is why you can sleep eight hours and feel like you're flying around. You're not getting any rest. So I take chlorophyll water, um, you know, about 8 o'clock at night, and then around 11 or 12 at night, I'll take a, a quarter teaspoon, I did the experiment, a quarter teaspoon, uh, actually about a half teaspoon, a half teaspoon of black strap, organic, unsulfured molasses, mm. and a half teaspoon of Bob's Red Mill baking soda. Oh, yeah. Mixed it up together, got it all to finally dissolve, chug it down with spring water, chug it down, right? Now you kind of feel a little bloated. Next morning, I checked my pH. You know, I was monitoring my pH, urine, and spit as soon as you yep. wake up yep. in the morning. Same, the same. And my pH, my urine, and, and both spit was scary alkaline. Okay. Scary alkaline. How'd you feel though? Okay, but I, I mean, you look at the pH. I mean, you know, I, I wish I could test my blood, but I mean, it was like urine. The urine was like pH of like uh, seven point. Seven, seven point eight. Right. I mean, it was the pH yeah. paper was black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, no. So that's the thing. So, with what we're talking about right now and what you guys are seeing here, does anyone before we got to this, did you know about this stuff? No. They don't teach this. No. They teach a lot of misinformation. So, having a really high pH, you definitely can get into a dangerous spot. Personally, I would think seven point seven is bad. If you would have had X, Y, and Z happen, I would have asked what else was aside from the pH. Um, Skipping ahead just because you brought that up. I was in the hospital in July, first time I've been sick in my entire life, and they don't know what happened. But when I went in, my pH was an eight. 
and they're like, how do you have an APH? And this was actually before I got sick. They told me, I, like, literally, it's so weird. I went to the doctor to have my first update. Blood, blood or urine or what? Blood. You can't. You're going to die at 7.2. I, I was fine. I'm telling you, look, what I want to tell you is I went in, I moved to Arizona, went to go get a new doctor, and went through this whole thing, and they're freaking out. I'm 42 years old. They told me my blood looks like I'm in my late 30s, maybe early early 30s. He's like, how are you doing this? I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, dude, you're, eight, you're at APH. He went and got three different people to come talk to me, and they did not understand it. And I was totally fine. And you were eating what? I was very vegan at the time. Lots of alkaline water, lots of fruits and veggies, lots of sun baby. Um, I take all my fruits and vegetables before I even eat them and take them outside and soak them in the sunlight. And your food will actually taste different. It's amazing. But so after I'm talking to him, he's like, how are you doing this? And I was like, I'm vegan and X, Y, and Z. And he was like, man, you should go get life insurance right now. And then next thing you know, a week and a half after that, I was in the emergency room. I'd never been so sick in my entire life. And I actually didn't think I was going to make it. It was crazy. I lost 30 pounds in three weeks. Every test that they took said I was fine. They have no idea what it was. Still, after everything was done, they still don't know. They're like, what are you fine? Yeah. Like chalk it up to ascension sickness or something. I don't know. Oh. I have no idea. But it was weird. When so I went with this and it was totally fine. When was that? When that was last July. Last year. You went with what? Maybe you got some. I went with what? The you said I went with this. Oh, I had an 8, eight pH. Right? I was very, very alkaline. Now, that being said, sleeping for two hours sounds pretty crazy to most people. Right? It sounds terrible. People love that they're sleeping. It terrifies me. Do you know if you sleep eight hours a day? Did you always week? speak quickly? Yes. I'm talking really slow. Do you have She's, Spanish blood? No. I'm an Egyptian and Viking. Can I say that? So the very interesting thing is, though, I tell people all the time, I just sleep for two hours. I'm like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, how many hours do you sleep? Like, eight. At the end of the week, that means you've lost two days. <laughs> That's a lot of time. That adds up really, really fast. So if I don't have to be in bed laying down and I can be awake doing What about things, stress? What's, for what? There's, what stress? Like you're, everything, no, when look, you're, when you're you revved up, there's more stress. No, it's just more energy. I don't know how to explain it. But when you're stressed, you're literally just seeing what your body and mind are capable of. So you don't have to like buckle under it. You can just be like, yeah, that's not going to be a thing. And next thing you know, you're not sleeping. And you're not really caring about any of these things. And you're doing things that are not supposed to be possible. I don't know. When it stops working, maybe I'll try something else. <laughs> you were saying something about fructose. Like someone yeah. mentioned. Yeah, so, yeah, so so white sugar versus what you're going to get from fruits and vegetables, and there's all these arguments about it all the time, about, but the people that actually go the fruitarian route and everything usually don't have terrible things happening. Now, there's some genetic base on that. I mean, that there's things that come into that, but sugar at the end of the day from this bag or white refined sugar, version, refined right, even brown sugar is just that heated up. So these are the things to avoid. And literally, I'm telling you guys, any of the things we're talking about, try it for a week and you don't get the results, fine, maybe beat me up, it's fine. I promise I won't. I won't. But when things change and you're like, what's going on, then reach out and I'll give you some more stuff to look into. And, and it's just interesting what you can try and experiment, but you have to go into it with this very open and objective mind about what you're experiencing because you can't know anything that you believe and you can't believe anything that you know. What's a healthy sugar alter alternative? I try to avoid it, but if I don't know, I ask my fairy assistant. So you can ask her. I don't, I don't know. Maple syrup, honey. Stevia. Yeah, honey. Thank I do. You. I do. Thank I do. you. Okay. I do stevia. Stevia, stevia, monk fruit extract. Yeah, monk fruit. Coconut, coconut, sugar. coconut sugar. There's loads. I'll give you a list. Monk fruit is healthy. Yeah. I use it. This will have to keep it informal because we should all be learning from each other all the time. Right? Most of you guys that at least see me walking through have been around for a while. Right? Some of you are very, very friendly, very open, and very open 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 and very amazing, amazing people, but you guys don't always know it because it's kind of intimidating talking to new people. Right, so we get in this format and we're, we should all be learning and taking these little bits and pieces. So that's, that's how we'll be there. Quick question, I got, I got a hard part of the alkaline diet, but then when I was reading about it, when I was reading about the benefits of uh, apple cider vinegar, they, uh, and I'm like, wait a minute, Al 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 on one end, alkaline diet, alkaline water, but on the other end, uh, apple cider vinegar is supposed to like make my stomach more acidic. acidic. Right. So it's like, should I not be alkalizing my stomach because it's supposed to be acidic? So, so, so my understanding of that, and I, I could be wrong, so if someone else has it yeah. better, you know, by all means. But the acid that's inside the apple cider vinegar works at such a strong, potent version that your body tries to fight and rebalance it, and it creates oh. a pH. Oh, okay. Like it makes more alkaline. Okay, gotcha. That's why taking lemon yeah, makes you alkaline. Okay.
Okay, so we're going to get back into this resident stuff and more about the tech, but you guys, so far so good? Yep, thank no you for that. That was amazing. Yeah. The raw cane juice is different, right? Say again? You press the raw cane, the raw, fresh raw cane juice is different. Yes, okay. yes, it is. It, it really needs to be the refined, very serious stuff that you get everywhere. You get everywhere, it's probably not good. Spray it with the like, Clorox or so, electricity, like, all right, so this is, this is my favorite part. So we're talking about being electrical beings, right? Do you, anyone like not like thunderstorms and lightning? Like they just don't like it or you guys enjoy it? Most people tend to like lightning storms. And it's a really interesting thing. You come to find out the entire planet since the beginning of time has been charged with a very specific frequency from lightning strikes. Is that the same as ozone? No. It's lightning it's strikes lightning that strikes. creates the shower That creates the shooting resonance. resonance, right. And that's what we use in my company. Just, that's our main everything. So all life on the planet has developed using something called the shooting resonance, that it's regular state. It's 7.83 hertz. It's a very specific number. It's not about going up or down. It's like a radio station, right? So you get your favorite radio station and add a couple of dials, you're not going to hear the music. So when people are like, the shooting resonance is spiking, this is great. No, it's not. This is a terrible, terrible thing. It's the misinformation that they have. A lot of times it'll be a big celestial event, a meteor shower, a comet, whatever, and people are like, look, the shooting level spike because we're in tune with the comet and con human consciousness. We're using more electronics on that day to take more pictures and look it up online. That's it. Now, it's not to say that we're not ascending and all these other things, but if I put more gas in my tank, it doesn't fill the oil up. They correspond with each other, but they're two very, very different things. So when you see the shooting fluctuations and all these things, this is not a good thing. This is like having very clean, perfect water versus one that a bare pH. And you're like, well, the pH is high. No, it's not what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be nice and pure, 720 degrees. Right now, as we are evolving and adapting to the little electric world that we live in, I'm sure at some point we'll probably go past the 723 hertz and be at some new ascended state. I don't know what that number looks like right now, but right now the Schumann where it is normally, 723 hertz is where the body's supposed to be. And this is actually why most people like lightning strikes and don't even realize it because the planet's being recharged to get right in front of you, and you're like, oh, this is beautiful. No, your electric body is like, yeah, I like that. That's what's wrong. Right? You guys ever go camping or hiking or talk to people who go camping and hiking, and they're like, oh, the fresh air makes me feel so much better. I love it. I just get up in the mountain, and that's actually not to do with it. You might like the smell, but really you're getting away from the electric polluted ocean that you live in in your town, and your body naturally diffuses it out, and you start feeling better. Mm. Right? It changes your body. It changes, exactly. Nature. Waterfalls are the same way. Yep. Yep. The ocean. So again, a lot of the stuff is stuff that we know the little bits and pieces, but we have not put the whole puzzle piece together. Right. And I'm not saying that even with what we have now that we figured it all out, but we're getting a much bigger picture of who we are and what we're capable of with the right technology. Right? Okay, so lightning, not so much. I think we're just gonna I think we might skip some things if you guys are cool with it, because most of you are pretty on board with most of the stuff. Alright, so this is what this is what we'll get to. We're gonna talk about this electric board a little bit more. Okay, radio waves, all, all this fun stuff. So actually do you guys remember when cell phones very first came out? Yeah. yeah. And you'd be listening to your favorite song on the radio? Yeah. And what would happen if you got a phone call? Yeah. So I'm going to get all static and sound like Right? Now, I, I mean, it's the most respectful way. Okay? But all that that was was a very strong <coughs> signal interfering with what normally would be very crystal clear radio signal. You can still make your song out, but it sounds like crap. Right? That's how most of your bodies are right now. I don't mean that in a disrespectful way at all. But your body's being distorted from all the electricity, and so all the signals, well, you've only heard the song this way, so you think it's good and fine. You've never had a clear signal unless you've been off grid. That's it. So you've never had that new car feel in your body. Right? Uh, I lived in the desert for a really long time, and my favorite comparison is my first car was this 1974 uh, Honda Civic with a hatchback, like 18 colors of yellow and rust and no back seat. But driving and not having to walk in the heat was the greatest thing ever. And then I got my first brand new car, I realized what a piece of crap I was driving. I had no idea. But that's really what it is. Most of us have never really felt at our peak. And because our egos are very, very in control, we'll lie to ourselves and be like, no, I'm great. Because you don't want to have weakness and you don't want to have something where you're lacking all those things. And that's okay, it's normal. Right? You know, there's this, when the electricity goes off in the neighborhood, that's the most peaceful you're going to get. It really is. Yeah. It's and, weird. and it works really well when yeah. they turn it back on. Yeah. So what if, what if you didn't have to leave town? What if you didn't have to be worried about your cell phones being on TV or your kids being on the computer? You didn't have to worry about those things. I'd be pleased. It'd be a good thing, right? Okay, so with the resonant technology that, that we have, and I'll, I'll get into that as well, 
we can literally take all of the protons that are distorted in your body that are sending the distorted electrical signals and get rid of all the distortion. How? With our machine. I'll get into that. But we can literally remove all the distortion. We met with like the EMF specialists of other countries, we've done light blood tests, and no one can duplicate it so far. At all. So if you're listening to your favorite song and you're singing along and it's kind of crap and it comes in really clear, you're like, oh, that's it, right? So we have people all the time that come and try our technology and all of a sudden once they feel their problems come in or they feel their strength come in or overnight they come back and their pain's gone they've had for a week, it's that, oh, wow, this is what's normal. And then you have to find out about what are the things you can now do. You can spend more time with your family. You can hold your kingdom, all these different things that we don't get to do. So we're not, with our technology, offering anything that's even healing you. It's not making you better. It's not making those things. It's just removing the distortion from your already amazing human body that can do all these things on its own when it's working correctly. That's it. Okay, so to, to get into how, right? So our machine that we have is very proprietary, so I can't really explain how it works, but I can give you little bits and pieces if that's cool. So we have a very modified MRI machine uh, that we use developing Nick with Tesla's research from a light bulb and a book I got about 15 years ago. That was gifted to me, and I didn't even know what I had at the time, and I was walking through Phoenix holding this giant light bulb looking like a crazy person, trying not to break it walking home. Right, it's very important. We met a company that had a very moderate version of what we have now, and when I started talking to them about, are you guys using resonance, and are you guys using this MRI machine, and they were freaked out that I knew what they were using, and I was freaked out to know what they were using, because I thought only Tesla had this stuff at the time, and so long story short, I ended up becoming a partner, and then I bought it out from them, and now it's been just my company. So what we can do with our machine is we can take any solid object, more or less, like we can use certain mineral water, you know, the minerals are solid, Anyways, I can take the chain from your purse, run it through our machine, and put a frequency that, as long as that's within an inch of your body, electronics cannot affect you. Wow. Mm -hmm. At all. Now, when Would I say you say not, that again. <laughs> so, with our technology, we mostly use jewelry like bracelets because you want to have it on you 24 7, right? But hypothetically, because you have a chain on your purse, I can run that through our machine. We would just calibrate it for the metal type, and then depending on the density, it might be 20 hours to 26 hours, and once it comes out, it would hold a new frequency. And we imprint it with the shooting resonance at 7.83 hertz. And because that's what your body wants to be at, the same way that a tuning fork will set off another tuning fork, once it gets within an inch of your body, it sets your protons off to go, oh, that's where I want to be. And now all of a sudden, your electric signals all go back to normal. That's it, it's very, very simple. Now, that being said, there is a bit of a process to it, because again, your mineral makeup is different than yours, and different than yours, and different than yours, and your EMF exposure is different than everybody else's as well. So sometimes, it's literally on the spot. People will have all their pain just leave their body. It's rare, but it does happen. Usually, overnight, people will wake up the next day and they're like, nah, that's, that is not the first. It's my favorite song. This guy's in the I have an overnight one. So oh, okay. the break, so I have a bunch of those bracelets. And we slipped, so uh, we bought the bracelets from Seth, and we, I didn't even know this, my wife slipped them on grandma's arm, her mom, so my wife's mom's arm, while she was sleeping in bed. So she didn't tell her anything, didn't wake her up. And it turns out a few hours later, so grandma has like some of that skin that's dark from old age, she's 72 or whatever, and, and it bothered her, you know? But she woke up and her arms were warm. She said she woke up a few hours later and she's like, my arms are so warm. And over time, the skin has gotten lighter colored and it's been healing. Well, so it's a circulation. It is more than that. The body can heal. Increasing in size all we are such an amazing now they're going. creation. We can do so much. We've created so much and we seem to have forgotten this. Right, we used to be really excited about being inventors and creators and all these things, and people are like, now, we'll talk to people about this, and they're like, no, that's not real. Like, we can't make new things anymore. It's, it's weird. But the body can heal and do all these things on its own. It just has to have the right environment. And unfortunately, most of where we live is not the right environment. Right. That's it, unfortunately. So, Scott, thank you for sharing that. That's, that's a great story. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, so, again, when I'm talking about it, uh, blocking EMFs and protecting you from those things, if you already have a saturation point of say 87% electric interference in your body, when we put it on, your protons are going to align and you're gonna have improvement in things right away. But depending on your mineral structure and your water and a number of different things, it might take two to three days for all the EMFs to diffuse out of your body for it to be at its full function. 
right? It's very, very, very rare. But every once in a while, we'll get someone that does get lightheaded from putting our technology on because their body's detoxing at such a rate that it doesn't know what to do. So my wife and I, <laughs> well, we, we put on, um, not as many as I have now, but we put on several, like of the, I guess like different classes, but, and for a few, like at least 30 minutes, we had a head buzz, like very yeah. noticeable, yeah. energetic, like, and I felt my voice was really positive sounding, you know, it was like really fun to talk. Yeah. Um, so that was, that was pretty obvious. Yeah, I'm glad you told me that because if you guys ever get this stuff and you do start feeling something, Tell us so we can it's make it make sense, for you, right? The the two most common things that we have happen is people will get it and feel a buzz or something like that, and they'll go walk around the expo, and then like an hour later they'll be like, "Hey, I'm gonna, is this still working?" I'm like, what do you like when I put it on, I had like these tingles and I was kind of buzzing and everything, and it just kind of stopped. I'm like, "Congratulations, you're acclimated. Now you're, you're it's fine, right?" The other really most common one is restless sleep. We have some restless sleepers, hard time sleepers, right? So when your body's trying to make connectivity and connections, imagine for a second that you have a circuit that's just out of place because your arm's not bent close enough for it to connect. So you're moving all the time trying to find this comfortable electric space in your body. Right? So a lot of times when you're tossing and turning, it's electric buildup that's happening in your body that you need to release by moving parts of your body and then it gets dispersed. Right? So the other thing that happens with this, because we align your protons and put your electric system back to normal, many, many, many people, Okay, I'm not gonna say quite half, but probably just under half. Will tell me the first, second, maybe third day, they just couldn't sleep. People will come back in the morning, like we had someone today. I talked to them in the morning, they had to ask them, they even make it to them, hey, can I shut up my bracelet really quick? So I didn't really sleep that much last night. Um, is, is that okay? I'm like, well, how do you feel? And they're all, well, yeah, actually, I'm, <laughs> I feel really that, what? That's weird. And it's because you're going to REM sleep much faster, so you don't need as much sleep. That's why I wear something. When I sleep, I'm out. You take your bracelets off? No, no, no. When you sleep? Never. Never. I took them off when I had to get an MRI because an MRI will wipe our technology out. That's the only time I took them off. <clears throat> and then I convinced them to give me a CAT scan instead of an MRI, so I actually should take them off. So with counteracting it, be the only way to change its frequency, it won't change you, over time? You can. No, okay. it's estimated three to 400 years before it should wear out. <laughs> Obviously, we don't have a way to test it, test it, that's right. already estimated. But all of our products do come with a free lifetime warranty, so if you think it's not working, you can mail it in, we'll send you a new one, no questions asked. Are the bracelets all different prices? Yes. And, and I'll be honest with you guys, I only have different style bracelets because humans like shiny stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really the only reason. I don't even like it. So the first three years that we had the company, all we had were silicone bracelets that were very inexpensive, they were easy, they're sporty, everyone can wear no problem. And I'm telling you guys, like we have videos we can show you, but we'll have people with like rotator cuff where they've been you know, stuck here for five, 10, 15 years. Yeah. We'll wrap five of our bracelets, put it on their shoulder in two minutes, and they freak <clears> out and <throat> cry, and how did this happen? But then they look at the plastic bracelet and go, but I wouldn't wear that. I'm like, Judy, you just moved your arm for the first time. You, don't, you wouldn't wear that? So because that kept happening to so many people, I'm like, well look, we'll, we'll, I guess we'll run some expensive jewelry through the machine. Would you feel better if you spend 100 bucks? I think it's crazy. If anyone's been to my booth, I will tell you as the owner, I'm like, buy our least expensive thing. You don't need to get the fancy thing. Unless you're trying to like go beyond just your paint. You know, we have things that can amplify other things as well. Uh, you guys see this little gold dash I've got on my forehead? This is actually 24 karat gold edible powder that we can print into the frequency of the sun. It makes you so happy and so energetic. It's a prototype we're trying out right now because there's a lot of hours in these days. So I was like, let me try it out. I'm, I'm feeling really good. But, but it's covering your... Oh, it's highlighting. It's empowering. Highlighting it. It's not covered. And how do you know? What do you mean? What do you mean? How do I know? Because I can feel it. I can feel it amplifying. So the, the, my if you take is, it off? If I wipe this off, yeah, my energy will go back down. Not a lot because I'm a high energy person. But there's yeah, I mean, difference. I see high energy. Yeah. Were you like that as a kid? Yes. <clears throat> Before, I literally tell you guys, I was on sleeping pills and everything imaginable. I'd done four, four sleep studies by the time I was like 12, and I couldn't figure me out, literally. And then when I was like 28, I went into see this doctor in Scottsdale, and he was like, they made me wear a little thing for a month to track my sleep, right? And so after the end of the month, I go in, two, maybe three hours a day, if that. And he's looking at me, and he was like, you've always been like this? I was gonna check my file. And next thing you know, he was like, so you've been awake equivalent to someone that's 67 years old. So the it's don't have to sleep anymore. No, they have to get deep, good sleep, so I don't have to do a lot of it. 
You know, what if you didn't have to work out and get muscles? That's how I feel about sleeping, getting things done. I'd rather not sleep anything. Well, the meditation probably helps. Meditation is great. It's great. Equalizer. Yeah. What's your booth number? Oh my, I don't know because my guy threw the paper away as soon as we got there. But if you guys, if you do want to find the booth and everything, when you come downstairs, we're literally to the left, right in the middle aisle. There's a big sign that says Mystic. Mystic. Mystic is the name of the company. Yeah. Mysticism and technology were being the bridge. Oh. Your cell phone would be magic in the 1400s. It's just technology. But you may have been charged in another dimension before you came. Absolutely, you may. Yes, absolutely. I just want to show everybody my uh, bracelet that I got, and I'm mostly in the crystals, so back to the fashion thing. And this was the highest that he had. Last year, I was here, and I volunteered, so that means I've been here all day. My feet were hurting, my back was hurting. I went there and tried one of the things, and I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. I left and went two booths down, and my back stopped hurting. I came back and thought I paid two more. <laughs> okay, I still have it. I, and I got the high She's a shield. Okay. But uh, I still wear it, and uh, I think I might get some more now. Um, but I have pictures on this gift. I just love it. I love it. I love it. I'm telling you. I wish it was bigger so it could get on my ankle. I'm on, I'm on that fashion thing, you know. This is what we had, so I love it, you know. Um, love it, love it, love it. I, I can't. Uh, I can't. My ankles are small. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, immediately, my back stopped hurting. Yeah. Um, just walking from the, the two booths down. So, um, we cried a little bit. It's kind of bracelet that yeah, would probably work. Yeah, yeah. I, I was doing really good. Silicone. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm, I'm, I'm a testimony. I'm a, you know, I did it. I, and I'm telling probably. you, it works. A lot of people do. Woohoo! And I had to take it off. Yeah, that's the other thing. So that's the thing. And that's the thing is we, we haven't done any money back guarantee because we want you to know that it works. We don't want you to hope or maybe you're probably